All I see is blessings, got no time for stressing Don't believe in failures in my life, it's only lessons They just make them Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel And if you are new, welcome to my channel <laughs> My name is Lizzie and I am a nail enthusiast I love everything, nails, makeup, a little bit of hair um, but uh, mostly nails, uh, passionate more about nails. And that's what I um, feature here in my channel at Lizzie's Nails. And uh, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a nail space tour. <laughs> a while back, I did promise you guys this. So um, I told myself that my space is never going to be perfect. I'm always going to be changing things and updating things and reorganizing. You know, as you organize and you go through your stuff as you're reaching for them, sometimes <laughs> that method of organization doesn't work out for you. So you try to reorganize it again. And that's how I've been in the past few months that I've been um, trying to organize to eventually record this video. But I said... I think it's time girl <laughs> I think you've held out long enough so I still need some reorganization to do I have ideas in my head that I want to do with my drawers so that'll come later <laughs> for right now it is what it is and that's how I'm going to do it um, let me just fix this one a little here um, so what I intend to do today is just give you a walkthrough of my little tiny nails nail corner I don't have a room I just have a space it is actually a spare bedroom that we have. I work in that uh, space. So we turned it into an office, but it was big enough for me to be able to take a little corner for myself since I was taking up too much space in my bedroom. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm going to do today. Um, it's not big, but it's my space. But what I wanted to do before I did that was give you a disclaimer because I know a lot of people, you know, they come into your channel and they look at your stuff and they might prejudge you and I've always said in my videos, I am not a licensed nail technician, I am a nail enthusiast. Um, it's in my bio, it's in my description boxes every single time and in all of my videos and I've always said it. I've been very vocal about it because I don't want to misinterpret or mislead anyone into thinking that I am. I am not. I'm just very, very passionate about nails and someday I'll work up to that. You know, if you've seen uh, any of my previous videos, um, I have found a school and they have reached out to me again. It's just that my schedule doesn't quite fit in with their uh, required schedule, which is two full days or three full days a week on campus. Uh, for 10 to 15 weeks and that's just something at this time that I cannot give I have a full-time job so you know I'll eventually do it maybe I'll figure out a schedule with my job um, I'm just trying to work up the courage to ask my job for a second day uh, for 10 or 15 weeks off um, so that I can actually do this because that's it's very affordable and they specialize in getting you ready and licensed to be a nail technician and be a business owner, which eventually when you become a nail technician, you either work for someone else as a nail technician or you become your own boss. And that's what I would prefer. Um, I would never give up my job unless I see that doing nails is something that's working out for me. But that's not here nor there that's not what this video is about but i did want to give you that update um and i mentioned that because in this video you're going to see a lot <laughs> a lot of products and so even though i'm just one person and i'm not a licensed technician i do not bring anyone into my home for the purpose of my children it's a lot of product but it's my product it's something I'm passionate about and it's not something that I purchased overnight. I've been doing my own nails for years. When I decided to stop going to the nail salon and do it myself, I had built my collection along those years. And this and I'm talking about pre-pandemic, okay? So I have been collecting a lot. And so I don't want anyone to prejudge the fact that I have so much product and it's just me and I'm not servicing anyone else 
but it's mine. It's my collection and I love it. So it's a judge-free zone here. You're more than welcome to proceed and watch this nail space as long as it's all positive vibes. So that's what today's video is about. I'm just going to show you the space, tell you where I got everything from, but I'm not going to go through my drawers because I have a feeling this may be a long video. Just saying. Anyhow, if I do have space, I'll do what's in my drawer. Otherwise, that'll be a part two of the nail space tours. So I am currently in my bedroom, as you can tell, and I just finished doing my makeup. I actually um, use the Natasha Denona um, little tiny palette, the only Natasha Denona that I would ever own because it was on sale through Ulta. And um, I, I love it. Ulta or Sephora? I can't remember. I know it was on sale. But, I mean, I thought it was a little bigger than this. But, hey, I guess for what I paid for is reasonable. Uh, you know, it is a brand. So that is what I currently have on my eyes today. I wanted to do my makeup. wanted to feel pretty and positive and just kind of enjoy my day off. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to dedicate today in filming my nail space tour. And I hope you guys enjoy. So let's head on over there. Well, you guys, I am standing in the hallway um, that goes into my current office slash nail space. Um, that is my daughter's bathroom and that is my daughter's um, bedroom, which I, I respect out of privacy. I, I close the doors so that that way, you know, I'm keeping YouTube separate from my private life as well as my workspace. Um, and as you can tell, the theme is Minnie Mouse. So, <laughs> in both the bathroom and bedroom. So, <laughs> anyway, this is obviously the door to my office. I have a little sign that says, worry less and smile more. And pardon the holes on there. There used to be a different sign to that door. Um, this, like I said in the video earlier, is a spare bedroom. So it used to be occupied. Um, by obviously a person <laughs> and, and that person is no longer uh, with us uh, so neither here nor there so let's go ahead and open the door and I'm gonna try my best you guys to keep the work area out of the video because I want to keep my workspace and my nail space absolutely separate from YouTube um, because I only film on my time um, <clears throat> when it comes to youtube so i'm gonna try my best to walk in here and leave that space out i don't know how much i can avoid but i'm gonna try my best so here we go show you um, or tell you uh, where I got everything because um, one thing I enjoy and I think I've said this before in my vlogs I enjoy watching nail space tours and organizational videos on YouTube um, other than just nail tutorials or makeup tutorials I also enjoy um, nail space and organization so um, the one thing that I think um, most nail space uh, tour videos lack is um, giving the audience enough time to be able to observe the space like giving you an overview as I'm doing right now <clears throat> excuse me so that, that way in case you have been 
very interested in knowing um, what my space looks like, um, how I have it organized, um, you can see for yourself. So um, I think I'm going to start with uh, this area right over here. You guys already know about that. <laughs> but um, this corner uh, right over here, which looks a little less organized <laughs> um, <clears throat> and with good reason, um, it's not really... Um, it's more like storage, let's just say that. Um, this little uh, three drawer unit, I actually purchased from Amazon. Where else, right? And this storage, um, I'll try my best to find a link for it um, down below in case you're interested. Um, what I have stored in here is just cleaning products, um, <clears throat> things that I clean implements or um, remove my um, acrylic stuff with it's all stored in there and what's on top of it obviously is a air purifier my uh, humidifier is that a humidifier i forget what it's called i'll probably put the correct verbiage on the screen right here um, but i did purchase that because obviously the monomer scent um <clears throat> it can be strong and i do have allergies unfortunately so it tends to um bother me for a little bit and give me a headache but um, I found ways to work that out. I'll either open the door to my room, open the window in the closet um, from here, and aim the fan to go out that window. And that I also put on this air purifier, which I also uh, purchased from Amazon. Um, and I turn it on to, it has, I believe, three um, levels. It even... Um, you, know, you can turn it on or off uh, the light and then the three levels of um, it you know air purifying so let's just leave that on but i got that on amazon uh, my yankee candle with my favorite scent which is um mid midsummer's night i love 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 that scent it smells like a man's cologne <laughs> And I love it. I love the scent of that. And I will only turn that on unless I absolutely need to. Otherwise, it remains off. And I only turn this on, which, let me see if I can get to that level to turn it on. The buttons are here somewhere. Um, excuse me. So, let's see. I don't know if I have any. There's the light and then the mist. I don't know if I have any water in there. Yeah, there's no water in it, <clears throat> so it won't turn on. Um, I also got this from Amazon. Um, this is actually a cover, and um, let me see if I can take it off with one hand. Um, I really don't want to make a mess. <laughs> I can't pick it up. There we go. No, no. <clears throat> there we go so that's the humidifier in there you put the water in the drops which is what that little bottle is there um also got these items from amazon except the water bottle <laughs> you put the water in here and the drops in there and you turn it on and it kind of creates a mist um and it gives the room a nice scent so that's what i have in this little um station right here and then this um, item in the corner is actually a three cube um, shelf unit. I actually, believe it or not, purchased this at Dollar General. <laughs> and if anyone who has a Dollar General by their area, um, then you'd be surprised, right? Because they do kind of sometimes sell items like for, you know, de decorating your space or your home. Um, but that's where I got it from. And I even purchased the, what do you call it, the cubes. Um, <clears throat> the um, these things gosh I forget what they're called um, in there um, as well so I was able to buy those three to fill that and again that is just all storage um, I have um, stuff in there that I can't fit in the rest of my inventory and then this beautiful piece right here that is the for uh, always and forever flowers um, that my son actually gave me for Mother's Day and um, <laughs> excuse me sorry um, I love him um, I love my son but he is 
uh, a man now and so he does not live here at home uh, with me so I check in on him and we speak every so often um, but you know he's such an amazing son and he gave me that for Mother's Day uh, this year so that is what's decorating this three cube um, unit in my corner so that is that um, like I said, I got that three cube in Dollar General and everything except for the Yankee Candle and the water bottle <laughs> that you see on this unit I got on Amazon. And of course, I mean, you guys know what that is, right? Um, <laughs> so um, obviously that's um, post office box uh, for when I ship out um, the 100 subscriber winner. The items are in that basket right now. When you guys see this uh, video, the winner have has already been selected and I'm sure this is all going to be out and sent to them already. It's just that I'm filming before I choose the winner. So it's there for now, but it won't be here for long. And then this box, I'm actually accumulating items as they come in. I have made quite a few purchases, so I will be filming a huge haul. And so as they're coming in, they're going into that box. I'm also going to be doing some reviews on some of that item. So that what that box is, and that is to send out the winner's prize. But all the winnings are in there, and I have some bubble wraps and stuff there for when I uh, seal it up and send it to them. <clears throat> now, this piece of unit right here, this um, I purchased from Michaels. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys um, ever remember or if it's still uh, going on, but this these this is two of the five drawer units <laughs> for michael's and what's sad is that i had only purchased one initially and then when i when i wanted to make it uh, bigger or stack them um i had purchased the second one and it's just a few millimeters smaller than the other and so that's why you see it um not proportioned evenly but it is not obviously an ikea <laughs> um what do you call that alex uh, drawer uh, unit it is not that this is supposed to be like the dupe for that but i bought two separately um but just one ended up being smaller than the other obviously you see them stacked one over the other and let me show you exactly what i mean now you can see just a hint of a difference um but since it's not a big deal to me if it's a big deal to someone else well you know, it's not happening to them um but I, it doesn't matter to me as long as i have the units to store everything in and believe it or not this um used to be where i had all of my makeup and then when i became more passionate about nails um i decluttered a lot of uh, old makeup and makeup that i wasn't using i gave to family and friends um, and decided to now put all of my nail inventory in here. So I got those two from Michaels. And then the little um, legs that you see on there, I got from Amazon. And guys, I put that all together using the E6000 glue. <laughs> it took a couple of days, but I was able to glue on the, the legs and glue the two items together now the um not the knobs on there i got them from Lowe's. my husband was kind enough to get them for me and install them um so that's what that is there and then you guys remember this right if you've been in my channel long enough <laughs> you know what this is this is the mia secret um <clears throat> excuse me steamer remover i will link that video down below <laughs> i had tested out um uh, uh, against a you know normal regular manicure bowl and um the manicure bowl one <laughs> I, I actually i have not used this since that video um i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but it's currently in this box that um i had uh, customized um with my favorite jack and sally characters in it so right now it's just sitting there and then that little hook just kind of um those are trash bags or bags that i use for uh, for trash so that's there no <laughs> oh my gosh sorry you guys <laughs> if you have allergies then you would um no one understand um <laughs> what i'm going through um 
this section right here obviously um as you can tell it is my part of my acrylic collection um i have um two empty spaces there because i did purchase um uh, like i said i made a huge huge purchases uh, multiple purchases and i'm waiting for uh to receive them and so i've made space for what's going to go on there i'm not going to say anything yet because i want you guys to see that video so that's why those two shelves are empty i've moved rearranged some things around to be able to make room for them um but that is my acrylic collection at least part of it it's not all of it some of them are in that drawer right there <laughs> so this is the part where i mean you know no judging guys i mean this this stuff here i purchased with my own money uh it has not been gifted to me except for the icicle by zule thank you by the way zule you are awesome um everyone should go follow her channel and give her some support that is an amazing woman um but uh i purchased everything with my own money out of my own pocket and i give myself an allowance you guys every paycheck to be able to afford these things and never touch the house money um because the house money is important it's for the family it's for the house so anyway getting back on topic that <laughs> that decoration that you see up there once again i got that on amazon so it is such a beautiful beautiful thing let me see if i can get a close-up um it says beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself and i could not agree more you guys um there's nothing better than to be satisfied with yourself be happy with yourself because honestly at that moment it's where you find peace so um i'm still learning <laughs> to make uh, acceptance of my changes like i said I've, i have two toddlers and my life's changed so i've learned to accept changes so anyway this is my collection and this is something that i can definitely discuss because obviously it's already out in the open but this is my small collections of eye gel beauty acrylics it's three rows which is something i'm gonna um re-swatch um in my sip and swatch so that's a whole video on its own and then i have my valentino you guys have already seen me swatch those um and given my opinion on those and obviously my not polish <laughs> It's my biggest collection yet, and I love them. I really do love them. I don't get to showcase them um, too often, but when um, when it's their turn to get swatched, you guys are gonna see a special video on that. So, and that one is definitely gonna be a long one because of the amount of acrylics that I have. But, and then what you see down here, obviously you see my Mia Secret. Um, that is just part of my cover colors that I have. I think those are the most that I'm impressed with when it comes to me a secret. I love their 3D white. I love their cover colors and the clear. Um, but the color ones, which um, I have in that drawer there, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, it, I think the only thing that for me, in my opinion, and I'm sorry if anyone feels different, I think they're just good for 3D art. <laughs> and I think that's what they were meant for. Because um, I wouldn't put it on um, a home nail. Um, but anyway, that is my uh, Mia Secret. And then those that you see in the rose gold, those are all my custom mixes made of existing um, acrylics or I made my own acrylics. Like for example, this row right here. These are the ones that you guys see me custom make. This one, These two right here, you have not gotten to see me custom make them. I started making those before I started filming um, and I'm still working on those believe it or not these are the ones that I want clear clear um, but anyhow and then these here are um, Christmas mix that I made in red and green and then these are mixes that um, I followed nail nail it like Lucy that I've seen in her previous videos um, these are uh, mixes that i try to keep up with her <laughs> to make them and then that row down there um those are just like i said mixes of existing um acrylics that i mixed together because i didn't have those colors in my collection so that's what that is and if you're wondering where i got these shelves i have two different sets of shelves so i apologize um but they're both from um amazon now 
these are t a ton and more expensive than these and that is the difference right here these are a little shorter and they have this metal here versus the, it being a full acrylic these are big you know taller but they're the same they're the same they fit all of them the same way so these three shelves right here um, came in a pack of six and they're about the same price or if not a little less than these that only came in a pack of four and I have a total of eight at the moment no eight not 12 12 so you can imagine the amount of money I spent on those acrylic shelves when I could have gotten these all along so I'll link these down below um, everything that I mentioned and where I purchased it from if I can find a link I will link it um, otherwise if you don't see it um, you could just look it up on Amazon or in um, Michael's um, now these two um, organization um, these little uh, acrylic drawers these I got from Michael um, again they were not cheap um, Michael's is a little bit expensive unless you have a discount or a coupon um, but they're beautiful I love the way they house my um, products like this one right here is housing all of my um, cream uh, solid gels or my um, savvy land uh, pudding gels and uh, my savvy land acrylic um, carving gels which is something that I have to learn how to use and um, for the first time I purchased a Madame Glam gel pudding um, didn't know they have it so I will be going back to purchase some more and then obviously my Zule's um, no white painting gel Zule if you are watching this I love these painting gels and I would like to know if you have them in more colors <laughs> if you have them in more colors I will buy the entire collection because these are so amazing um, and if I had them in all different colors I wouldn't even use these carving gels which I still am trying to learn how to use um, or even the other painting um, methods that I have I would just use yours because I really love um, the painting gels so if, if it's not too much <laughs> Um, if you had um, the opportunity to get more colors I would definitely get them but anyway that's what this bin holds and then this bin right here houses my small acrylics <clears throat> so I have here my bomb nails uh, six acrylics glitter acrylics and all of my glam and gets glam and glitz sorry the majority of them are glitter and then two solid colors and then one nail it like lucy um, optic white and then all of these two drawers here um, are my modeled ones which um, i said i was going to be using them for 3d art once i start practicing and these are the mia's secret color ones that i'm talking about um these guys if you read sorry <laughs> if you read the label it actually says fruity nail art powder so I don't think they were meant for you to lay it on the entire nail as regular acrylic. I think they were meant for nail art. So that's what I noticed and that's all I'm going to use them for. Anyway, that's I got these from Michaels. And that um, pilon, as they say it in Spanish, that you see there, I got it from Amazon. Which is what I'm going to use to finish mixing these two to get them to look the way that I want I want to do a video on that as well so I haven't finished that and then this beautiful item down here <laughs> um, to me is almost almost not exactly but almost a dupe for those Alex drawers that you see from Ikea but I got it on Amazon what I love about this one is that the drawers are deeper and that's the reason I preferred to buy this one because I needed the space and those unfortunately the drawers from the Alex units um, don't allow you to be able to get all the way in these do and once again if you're interested in this one I will link that down below and then yes uh, my sister-in-law gave me that apron <laughs> when she saw that um, I started practicing the nails and this beautiful not person but this beautiful mirror <laughs> Um, and excuse for the dust if you're a nail um, person you'll know <laughs> the amount of dust that goes in your nail space it just it's gonna happen 
But anyhow, and I'm sorry if it's getting dark because of the light behind me. Um, but that mirror I got a long, long time ago, uh, a long time ago, you guys, from, I want to say, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And that used to be the uh, my vanity mirror. I used to have a very small vanity and I wanted a mirror just like that and so that's what I purchased it for. But now it, um, it's a decor piece. Uh, on my wall so and then the flowers um, which were not cheap by the way I got it on Amazon and um, this little piece right here I'm not sure if I can show you this little piece right here my husband got for me um, and it says Puerto Rican princess <laughs> years ago when we met um, at uh, a place here called Old Town uh, they have a shop there that they do printing um, um, in these types of plating um, and so that's what it says there and then these items here I also got on Amazon um, obviously you know what they're for they're <laughs> holding all of my swatches and you guys I just started re-swatching everything so everything is mismatched um, they're all eventually going to look like this um, and these big rings will be the only thing housing these smaller rings um, since there's so many um, but these are all gel polishes and then everything else are acrylic so i got these things from amazon all of these things here from amazon um, and those are the other two shelves um, that um, from the six pack i have there because that houses all of my monomers and my most used acrylic powders my favorite ones um, which they're all me a secret there that's what I use on a daily like on my practice hands on myself but if I'm doing a special look I will you know grab it towards towards my um, other beautiful collection <laughs> but that's um, where I house all my monomers my Tam and Tammy Taylor uh, brush cleaner my Mia secret uh, monomer drops um, and then on to this piece right here in this section and I'm sorry for um, the white out there um, I do have the window open just to kind of give me light because unfortunately I do not have a light switch here so um, but anyway if you guys haven't seen my video in building my uh, new nail desk this is that nail desk and um, I um, excuse me I got that from Amazon and if you're interested I will once again try and link it down below and what I'm gonna quickly do because I <laughs> I don't want to make this longer than necessary I'm gonna quickly go over what's on my desk and where I got it from okay <clears throat> excuse me so um, why not start with this chair um, this chair I got off of Amazon um, and the pillow that says um, nail boss I got it from Amazon now that pillow doesn't stay there when I'm sitting there because if you've seen me in any of my vlogs, I am not skinny, I am not small, I got a big booty and so I have to remove that and that just kind of lays on the floor while I'm filming or doing my nails and then it goes back on once I'm done. Um, this little item here, that pink um, little stand is what I'm going to call it, a little stand. It's actually for you to put like your... Um, blow dryer your curling iron your flat iron that's what that's for but I'm using it to put all uh, both of my armrest um, which I believe I got the little uh, stand from Amazon the armrest that you see there the white one came with my original nail desk that I used to have in the bedroom and because I love that one is so cushiony and it's already stained and really used and abused <laughs> So I kept that one. And then the pink one that you see there, that's the one I use for my family member when they come in um, to do uh, their nails. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. Um, my allergies are just kicking my ass. I have to put a cough drop, so if you hear me talking a little funny, I apologize. Um, but I had to pop in a cough drop. Um, I forget where I was, but I'm sure I was still here. I am... Uh, excuse me sorry <laughs> but I received a package while I am filming and there it is so the UPS guy come into the door and so I stopped filming because he rang my bell as I went down the stairs and now I'm out of breath 
Anyhow, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I apologize. The stand, Amazon, the pink armrest Amazon, the white armrest came with my first nail disc Amazon, the black stand, which you guys have seen when I unboxed my half hand, um, also from Amazon. I never returned it, obviously, <laughs> because I figured out a way to put it in um, on my desk to house um, my half hand. So I was able to figure that out. I'm sorry, you guys, but I had to take a moment to breathe because I couldn't breathe. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going to move on and obviously you guys already know the desk is from amazon i just wanted to show you um the decor pieces that i've added to my desk um those are mirror stickers um and i got that on amazon they're rose gold and these right here says live love and laugh and then this side here says faith family and hope um, and that's what I wanted to decorate my desk with because I seen a youtuber you know I like watching nail space as you all guys have already been told many times um, and I got the idea off of her I seen her redecorate her desk with different style mirror stickers and these are the ones that I went with because of obviously my aesthetics which is rose gold and white um, anyway but I've had that all around the desk including on this side here I have the large polka dots and then on this side I have on my door the other polka dots and <clears throat> the garbage can that you see there obviously is rose gold I've always had that um, and then under my desk you're going to see my towel holder a little vent for the vacuum that I have inside uh, the desk and that is that and now for what's on my desk and I'm gonna have a seat because I'm still out of breath <laughs> so I'm just gonna just sit in my chair while I tell you what's going on here so <clears throat> you guys have seen this plenty of time this is a silicone mat that I purchased where Amazon <laughs> The practice hand, which was my very first practice hand, Amazon. The foam stand, which I do all of my recording from, Amazon. Um, this lamp that you see here is a new addition, and I don't think I got to show you guys that. I know during my videos, I mentioned on a couple of them my ring light gave out. So I got rid of it, as you can tell, and I have this lamp which um, eventually replace, replaced excuse me, the ring light but I kept using the ring light for extra light um, and that just finally gave out so now this gives my extra light and then this which is touch and it has three um, three levels of light brightness and you can also change let me see if I can you can also change the, the color well, it's not working oh because it's not because I'm pressing the I'm pressing the wrong one. Oh no that's not the one with the different lighting it's this one with the different lighting and it changes from like yellow blue white I don't know if you can tell the difference blue yellow um, <clears throat> but this one doesn't do that. I thought it was this one, but it's not. It's the one above. So <clears throat> the one on the top, uh, Amazon. The one on the bottom. Believe it or not, it's that American Nails um, company that I uh, rave about their practice silicone mat. I got it from them. It's it's sort of like a knockoff for the slim light. <laughs> I'm satisfied with it, so maybe one day i'll be able to afford the sunlight but not right now but amazon um <clears throat> this uv lamp here is the only uv lamp that i've ever owned and that 
it was given to me by my husband and it's still working this um portable i'm sorry um rechargeable uh, little uv lamp i got it from amazon and i believe i had ordered this already um when zule came out with hers and i'm so <sighs> disappointed on myself because if i hadn't already ordered it from amazon i would have ordered it through her so but got it on amazon this is a little vacuum um that i use to clean my desk with i got it on amazon my um e-file that i also got on amazon i had to replace unfortunately the one that my husband gave me um that one gave out so this is the second e-file that i purchased is was a little over 50 dollars but um it's plugged in all the time it's not rechargeable and it goes with my aesthetics obviously um and it comes with that little thing that protects it from uh, any particles going inside your hand piece um and i love this one but it's not rechargeable you know i still have to have wires um so it's there and as you can tell i have a rechargeable e-file that i purchased through nail it like you see as you can tell i'm actually going to do a video on this you are obviously getting a sneak peek right now i've never used a rechargeable e-file so this will be my first um not cheap um not sure if it was worth it just yet uh, because I haven't tried it. I have charged it. It's fully charged. Um, let me see if I can turn it on. It's fully charged and so I'm going to be testing it out um, during a video that I'm going to be making. So shut it off. Um, and so I took out the box and charged it and I'll be doing a video for that. This book you see right here which is Mr. Jack Skeleton, um, my favorite, if you haven't already been able to tell, um, was given to me by my husband. This is where I put all of my video ideas, all my upcoming filming videos, uh, they go in there. And even my nail ideas as far as uh, the designs on my hands, they also go in here. And I see this bowl um, bought years ago, Amazon. And these are my dirty implements that I have to clean today. Um, on this side, and I'm going to try and keep my camera at a certain angle. Um, and you know why, my work desk. Um, but anyway, this piece here I got on Amazon. This is where I keep my phone when I'm um, working on myself. Uh, hand sanitizer, um, hand lotion, um, hand lotion Amazon, uh, local Walgreens. <laughs> this little diamond here i got on amazon this is what you see me pose um my hands and my own work um over and then this uh, piece here that holds my forms i purchased from nail it like lucy um she has it on her online store if you're interested i will list her down below um these forms i have there these are the ones i practice with which i haven't practiced in a while um, her forms I have tucked away in my inventory for when I'm actually doing them on myself or in someone else. But these are the ones I practice with. I got these on Amazon, pretty cheap. No, actually, I got these from my local um, beauty supply store. The protective um, eyewear from Amazon. Um, this acrylic piece that is housing um, currently all of my brushes in general because I have my dust brush, I have my art brushes and art implements, my scissor, my nail cutter, and then my acrylic brushes all in here. And it might change, you guys. <laughs> it might change. And I, I tell you this, I as I'm working on my space, I find different ways of working better for myself. And right now this is working for me. And then <clears throat> this little acrylic piece that you see here is actually a lid of a other acrylic um, case that housed those little pots that I purchased from um, Amazon and uh, Walmart. This is the lid to that. And just to protect or further protect my cable, I have all of my dappin dishes here. And <clears throat> all um, this one, this one I purchased, these two here I purchased from Amazon. This one I purchased from Zule, and this one I purchased from Nail at Lucy. 
and obviously you guys already know the history of this this is uh, both from Amazon and so this is my workspace you guys oh, excuse me I'm just right <laughs> sorry and a lot of the stuff that you see on that um, let me see if I look up all of it um, Amazon and like Lucy oh and this from Zulay's so I have to clean these implements today and you guys that um just put the pillow back on my chair um but this is my nail space you guys this is where i come and i have fun and i feel myself here i um i'm at peace and de-stress um here this is where i come and i get a chance to just relax and have fun aside from the time that i have with my family um but this is my space you guys and i i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys liked it if there's um, any questions that i can answer just link them down below i'm sorry type it down below in the comments and i will try my best to answer them and if i don't know i will <laughs> try and find the answer but anyhow thank you so very much for joining me um on this nice Maze. Oh my god, nail space tour. <laughs> I appreciate uh, you giving me some of your time and making me part of your day. Um, thank you for being a part of mine, and I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are well. Love you guys, and I will see you guys on part two of this video because I will be doing a what's in my drawers after this. So look forward to that, and I will see you guys next time.